Well, welcome to Thought for the Day on this Christmas Eve. Uh, I don't know what your plans are for today and tomorrow. I suspect they're not what they might have been, what you were hoped they were, they were going to be. But I hope you have, have good plans and hope that, that you will have a, a blessed Christmas. As I mentioned on Thought for the Day on Tuesday, uh, one of the things I did last week when I was laid up with COVID, unable really to, to do much at all, not feeling like doing, not feeling with the energy to do anything, was to read Lord of the Rings. And one of the things I, I, I got out of it, things that it reminded me, was that uh, the, 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 the fellowship they had in that shared calling and mission and the first, the first book of the Lord of the Rings trilogy is called the, the Fellowship of the Ring, because they have this, this shared, shared, shared mission to, to get the ring to the place where its power could finally be destroyed, its harmful power. And it just reminded me that, that there is something of that in, in following Jesus, in, 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 in Christian fellowship. We, we are joined together not so much by what we like to do. I think some people think that Christians are just those people who like to go to church. Well, I think we do like to go to church, but that's it's not like that. We're not like a, uh, people who, who join a golf club because they like to play golf or join a, a Wolves supporters club because they like to, to watch Wolves. We're not even really a people who who uh, come together because we believe the same thing. I, mean, I, I took the funeral uh, recently of someone who was a, a lifelong member of the Labour Party, absolutely devoted to that cause. And the church is something, a group of people who are, who believe in the same thing, but it, it's 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 more than that. It's people who have a calling, a, a mission. But then I read something yesterday in the Bible, which I think gave me a deeper sense of what really uh, joins us together as Christians. It was at the beginning of uh, Peter's second letter to Peter, and uh, Peter writes, and often in the the first first verse or so of a letter, he gives a sense of of who it is he's writing and why. And this is what he writes. He says, Simon Peter, a servant, servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who through the righteousness of our God and Saviour Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours. And it struck me that what that, what that says is that the, the unity we have as Christians is not actually about what we have to do. It's not about what we like doing. It's not even about what we believe in. It's about what we've received, what we've received from, from Jesus, that the righteousness be, that, that we've got, that, that we don't deserve, a right standing before, before God that we've got because, because Jesus was righteous, even though we're not. And it struck me that, that our, that means that, that our, our fellowship our connection with with fellow Christians Christians is simply that we've all received undeserved grace as if we've all received this thing which we completely didn't deserve uh, I pictured a little bit maybe uh, a number of people who have all heard that they're sharing in some amazing inheritance that's going to be complete, completely transform their lives and there's a kind of joy in that now, of course, the analogy doesn't go that far because, you know, from real life, you know, from uh, many uh, fictional accounts, too, that often uh, being given a share in, shared inheritance brings out the worst worst in people and they, they, they fight over it. But that's not the same with what we've received from Jesus, because as Peter says, we've received, the people he's writing to have received a faith that is as precious as he and his friends have done. What we've received from Jesus is, is equally, is always valuable. We've all received the thing, thing of the same value. It's not something we can fight over. It's valuable because, because of what Jesus did, not because of what we do, do with it. And everything else flows from everything else, our common calling, our care and love for each other, flows from what we've received in Jesus. So in this strange season where we can't do the things that we used to do as Christians, we can't meet together and enjoy church and singing together in some of the same way. We, we can do something of that, but we, in many ways we're prevented from doing those things. We're prevented in some ways from fulfilling 
our calling as Christians. So there's a lot of things we want to do in terms of uh, reaching out to people that, that, are, that are very hard to do at the moment. We can't do those things. But what we can experience, that's that shared wonder, especially this Christmas, that shared wonder that God himself loved us enough to come and live among us, to give up all the splendour of heaven, to come and be with us. We've received something precious, and our unity is that we've all received that thing, that completely undeserved grace. May you experience the wonder of that this Christmas. God bless.